Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. I lost count how many DMs I got about the future release of this next product. Are you gonna be buying it? Are you gonna be reviewing it? Please tell us what you think of this product. So here I am. I mean, I was gonna do this anyway because this is one of my favorite ingredients within skincare. It's also one of my favorite brands of all time, as you probably are already aware. This is The Ordinary's 100% niacinamide powder. It's £4.90 in the UK, so it's really affordable. But what do I think about it? Do I think it's worth going out and you trying this for yourself? Well, you are going to have to watch further to find out. If you are new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I am a qualified esthetician and lover of anything beauty, skincare and makeup. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8 p.m. London time. And I'm also on Instagram if you want to check me out over there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. I would really appreciate it if you would consider clicking on that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future Future uploads. So firstly, you all know that niacinamide is one of my favorite ingredients to apply to any skincare routine because it's practically suitable for everybody and it does so many things. But what is niacinamide and what can it do for your skin? Well, niacinamide is also known as vitamin B3 and it is a water soluble vitamin. It's a fantastic antioxidant, so it will protect your skin against free radical damage and it will regulate sebum production. So great for anybody with an oily skin, but also great for anybody with a dry or dehydrated skin as this will boost the skin's hydrating ability. So it will boost the ability of all your creams and serums to hydrate the skin as well. This will improve skin texture and pore size, which is absolutely amazing. And my mum's had so much success with this. It will also improve an uneven skin tone, soften fine lines and wrinkles, diminish dullness, and also improve a weakened skin barrier. So all of those things in one little product. So let's just look at the 100% niacinamide powder for a second. Why would you choose this product to buy if you'd never used niacinamide before? Or why would you switch to this product if you're already using the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% solution from The Ordinary? This is an incredibly popular product on the website. It's incredibly popular for me. This is one of my ride or dies and I apply this every single morning. So why would you choose this one over this one? Let's do a little bit of bump on this. So this is the 100% niacinamide powder. Let me show you the product. You actually only get the container half full. You haven't got a dud if you've already ordered this and you actually look in it and think, oh, maybe they've only half filled it by accident. No, this is what 20 grams worth of the product actually looks like. So like I said before, this is water soluble and The Ordinary recommend that you mix this with anything water-based anything that is not oil-based, and they recommend a pH of the product that you're mixing it with of between five and seven pH. So they also have been quite helpful. If you are wanting to mix this with any of the ordinary serums, they've listed the serums that they would recommend for you to mix this with. Also, some of the creams that they've got that they will recommend that you mix this with as well, because this can be mixed with any sort of medium, a serum or a cream. So so The Ordinary recommend hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5. They also recommend Buffet with copper peptides, which I am slightly surprised at. I'm not concerned in any way, but usually copper peptides is, they're not a happy ingredient. They don't play well with others. And The Ordinary has usually been extremely playing safe with regards to what they suggest you mix within your skincare routine. So I assumed that they wouldn't recommend the copper peptide solution but I'm really happy that they have done. So Buffet with copper peptides, Matrixyl 10% plus hyaluronic acid, Argoline 10% and also the moisturizer, natural moisturizing factors. So let me just show you how it mixes. I'm gonna talk quantities in just a second. So I have a little bit of the powder in the palm of my hand. I'm gonna mix this with Matrixyl, which is one of the things that The Ordinary recommend. And as you can see, immediately, as soon as I start to mix this together, the powder completely disappears. It is extremely easy to mix together. This is not like a sugar water solution where you know the sugar's going to eventually dissolve. 
but it takes a long time. This isn't gritty in any way. It's just the whole the powder's gone and it's mixed into the Matrixel solution, which is absolutely fantastic. It doesn't leave a nasty texture on the skin. It's just beautiful to apply and very, very easy. So let's talk about quantities because this is where it gets a little bit tricky. How much of the powder do you need versus how much of the liquid do you need? Because you need to get this right. Now, the ordinary say that from a theoretical standpoint, which is a bit iffy for me, if a quarter of this measuring spoon weighed in at 0.05 grams of product, if, well, does it or does it not? Theoretically, means there's a possibility that, or let's just imagine that. So I don't quite understand why they are saying that. Does a quarter of this spoon weigh in at 0.05 grams or should it? So they're basically saying that if a quarter of this spoon weighed in at 0.05 grams and you applied four drops of any of their ordinary serums, you would get a strength of niacinamide solution of between 10 and 15%. Remember, this one is a 10% solution and you are going to be getting 10% every single morning and every single night. This one could possibly be 10%, but it could also possibly be 15% and it might be neither because we don't know exactly if a quarter of this spoon comes in at 0.05 grams. And we're never gonna know that because the scales that we have in our houses don't weigh to that amount of accuracy. And that is where the problems begin for me. So although this is extremely cost effective at £4.90, this will probably last you a good year. And um, this costs £8.90 for the 60ml and I probably go through three of these a year. So much more cost effective, I'll let you do the maths. And also, although the powder mixes beautifully with other products like I've just shown you, absolutely stunning, melts into the serums, beautiful, applies really, really nicely nicely to the skin, super smooth and not gritty. You need to measure a quarter of a spoon, which is impossible to get the same amount on your hand to mix with every single day. It's incredibly difficult to get a quarter of a spoon anyway. It's a very small amount. I have no idea why they couldn't include a measuring spoon that would measure the specific amount that is required on a daily basis rather than you having to guess how much of this you need. It just doesn't make sense to me. The continuity and strength of the niacinamide that you'll be applying to your skin will change on a daily basis. Some days you might only get 2%, whereas other days you might get 20%, 25%. Especially if you're in a rush one day, you're slightly more heavy handed with the product, maybe you're just not as careful as you usually are. But the amount of powder that you apply to your hand isn't the only thing that ascertains the strength of the final niacinamide solution at the end of mixing. It also depends on how much of the liquid you apply and I mean, if you're anything like me, it's great to have a dropper, but each dropper's worth is differing in size. So even if you add four drops of this solution, you're going to get different amounts on your hands every single day, which is going to weaken or strengthen the end product. Continuity and consistency in skincare is absolutely key. You need to continue to use a product at the same strength for a specific amount of time, otherwise you can affect the end results that you're going to have and you will possibly be incredibly disappointed. Also, if you're messing around with the strength of the ingredients that you're applying to your skin on a daily basis, you will increase the likelihood of getting irritation. Although I know that niacinamide is a pretty safe ingredient well tolerated by most people and although I know there is a market for this whole DIY skincare formulation business, 
it's fun to play chemist every once in a while, but there is a reason why we are not chemists. We don't have the facilities, we don't have all of the measuring tools in order to be extremely accurate like a chemist is. And chemists wouldn't guess a quarter of a spoon. They would be incredibly uncomfortable doing that, and to be quite honest, so am I. Chemistry is a precise science, and this to me is something to avoid. So I know that this is more cost effective and it's a little bit more fun to play around with. Um, it's an extra step in my skincare routine having to mix my own formula, and I'm lazy, so I'm not really going to want to do that on a daily basis. It's also a little bit more messy than I'm used to, and it's extremely inaccurate. So for me, I will not be using this. I will be sticking with my Old Faithful. This is absolutely phenomenal and I will continue to use this on a daily basis. By all means, give this one a go. It's not going to give you a high amount of irritancy if you overdo it or underdo it, but it's not going to give you the same sort of level and consistency of results as this one's going to because it's just impossible to get proper continuity of strength. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I think quite a few of you are going to be a little bit surprised on my opinion of this product because I'm always so complimentary on all the other ordinary products. This one and the L-ascorbic acid 100% powder I think are problematic so I wouldn't personally recommend them but by all means give them a go if you fancy it. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone!